Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and let's take a look at what the inspector panel is for. So, the inspector panel is where all components of objects within Unity, here in your scene, are stored. So a component is a way of containing information about a specific object. For example, how it looks, whether you can walk through it or not, whether it can animate or even scripts. So it has many, many components, but not all objects will be relative to the same component. For example, if we have a cube, which is just going to be a trigger, for example, then that will have quite the same components as what this bed that we have in our scene does. And the same applies to this directional light right here. So let's start with the directional light. And we can see here that we have the default transform component, which we already know about, hopefully. The next one down is a light component. So we can add multiple components to one single object, even if they're not necessarily relative to that object. We would just need to click add components right here and you would end up with a list like this. And we can select the different type of component we're looking for. So, for example, if we wanted our light to contain a collider in whatever way, we could go to physics and select one of the colliders if we wanted to. Now, it would be a little bit silly to attach a collider to a light. No point. However, we could also go back and if we didn't really know where things were located, we could actually search for a specific component. For example, animation or animator. So we can type it here and it will search as you type whatever you're looking for. So you'll see this is how a component looks and it's dictated by this little arrow here and we can collapse it up and it just becomes nice and easy to see. And as I said earlier, each component is going to be different to each object. For example, if we take this bed, there is no component other than a transform attached to this bed. The reason being is that this object of bed is an empty game object and it contains two other objects. So let's take this mattress right here. This specific object contains quite a few components. The first one obviously being transform. The second one is the mesh, and the mesh is just basically to make it look what it is, and the same with the mesh renderer. That's obviously what it is. It does exactly what it says there. It renders the mesh, which hence the reason why we have the material right here. Now, the material is a slightly different style of component, as we can see, because anything that has something attached to it visually should have a material. But we could always attach something else here. So add component. And let's go to physics and let's tick or let's go for box collider. And you can see we've just added that component. So adding components is as simple as just doing all these various things. And we could add a rigid body if we wanted to. Probably not necessary in this case, but we can still add that. So components are as simple as that. And you can also drag and drop, for example, a script onto this object here, and that would create its own component. Alternatively, you'll be able to click Add Component, and you can also create a new script and do it that way by adding a component. If your inspector panel looks a little bit odd, not quite how you would expect it to look in this case, it may be that you've accidentally entered debug. To get out of that, you would just click this menu up here, and you can see that we have debug and normal right here. If we click on debug, you can see it does look a little bit different. This contains a little bit more information than what the standard inspector panel does for each component. However, it's not entirely necessary to be in this look. So most people would stick to normal. So again, if it does look a little bit different, your inspector panel, it's because you may be in debug mode. So remember, if you want any information on an object, you'll always find it within the inspector panel and within its certain component. So quickly reiterating once again, if we wanted some effects like a halo or lens flare, again, here's not really necessary on this mattress, but you would be able to add in those specific components. And remember, components are what make objects work. So, guys, I hope that's been helpful and a bit insightful as to what the inspector panel and components are actually for in Unity. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well, stay up to date with all the content on this channel because there is hundreds and hundreds of tutorials for you to learn things on. So, guys, thank you very much for watching.